I'm Musa Kawila and welcome to the Pulp of Pop Culture. If you're on your phone, I hope you're taking pictures of your celebrities, your influencers and pictures of me, okay? Chomi, we are Hello, we are back. I am Musa Kawila, but my friends prefer to call me Wendy Williams Light and you and I we're gonna talk so yesterday or just the other day you know there was a channel o party and it was a jump you know your influencers and your somewhat celebrities were there i will tell you exactly who was spotted doing what and what not one of the biggest stories or one of the biggest incidences that took place at the channel o party was okay busiso Bus was performing and we not and during her set uh the dj played babe sodumo's song right Oh my God. And I think the DJ is fired at this point. But then Bustos obviously didn't take that very kindly. And then she started blasting Babe Sodoma for no reason of which it wasn't her fault. It wasn't Babe Sodoma's fault, but it had happened. And let's take a look and then you and I, is, we're going to talk, right? Yeah, I'm trying to play, isn't it? And Babe, unfortunately, couldn't be here this evening with us. Because she's going through a personal crisis. But if you want to play big songs, let me know so I can go home. Anyway, Busiswa is saying eh, Babe Sodum is going through personal crisis and why not? Of which we know that obviously since she married or since she got affiliated with that fat as man pincha, her career just took a downward spiral and it's so bad. Oh my God. You know, Babe Sodum, you know, she's supposed to be big right now. Actually, she's supposed to be like better than Gamon Pela, but Gamon Pela came in and took his spot, like how I took Film Pela's spot. You know, it is what it is, but then, now, Gamon Pela is the big deal doing the things that uh, I think Babe Sodomo wishes her career would be doing, and we we had loved Babe Sodomo, you know, Gom Queen and whatsoever, but back to the party, you know that the Modicelli sisters, where they, they never want to miss any party. I still don't know what they do for a living, except for that married bitch dancing on the tea 
TikTok for free and whatnot. And then they had gotten, you know, she recently got the Guinness record for doing the longest on my piano choreography and whatsoever, which is a useless record to me. I mean, you can just dance for 20 hours. It means they're just giving these records to anyone and everyone. So congratulations to her on that record. And you won't believe who was also there. Pretty Ugly had been there as well. And in my head, I was thinking, who the hell is babysitting? If Pretty Ugly is there, who the hell is babysitting? Because you know that Pretty Ugly's music doesn't sell and whatnot. And now he's like very much a house husband. So if they put at the party, who the hell was babysitting that Africa child, you know? But one of the people that were also there, uh, Nomuzu was there, you know, she always wanna go to all these parties and whatnot, of which, you know, she, she won that MTV based present on Don Tony. That was like many years ago. And then after that, I still don't know what she did. And then, you know, she tried the music and then the music wasn't musicking. It had just been so bad. One of the people who were also there, Dalai, was the everybody's a flop here, but everybody thinks you know they these biggest influencers, they celebrities and whatnot because you know they have like a couple of thousand of followers on the Instagram and they're still holding on to that. Dallas, we, there's nothing to say about this guy. I don't know the music. I've never known the music. We, we don't care about him. We're just gonna move on and talk about other people. You know who also was there as well? So Mizi had been there, but apparently, you know, he wasn't giving. Our friends didn't see him like do anything, but he had been there and that bitch, I remember that bitch that, that does the choreography. You know that voguing bitches and they wanna lay on the floor the whole time and vogue. And when, I don't know her name or their name rather, but they had been there as well. A couple of people had been there and and yeah, we're just gonna move on. And I wanna say congratulations to our friend Nonku Williams. Obviously Nonku recently bought a new car, it's a BMW, beautiful car and why not? Congratulations to her. This is a non story, but I suppose if you care about it, you know Nonku is our friend and how you doing Chomi? It is what it is. We're gonna move on and talk about, you know who's recently gotten in a relationship, gotten herself in a relationship rather, is Ntantla Mafu or you rather my figures all or you would say Tantla Mafu or Tantla Nza as you would say because obviously she was married to that man for many years and then they got divorced and who's that TK TK moved on and then now she's dating that other bitch of which we will share the pictures and whatnot but I don't care about these people but congratulations to Tantla you know Christmas spirits and whatever she's in a relationship things are are looking good for her. Of which, speaking of my figures, all of who's that? Theo. Like, what is Theo doing? Getting married to that colored bitch, Vonay, doing all of that. I'm like, baby, but aren't we like over here? Aren't we like in the same family? You know, hold on, let me get me a drink. But this Theo bitch will insist on being straight. And you know, same as DJ Zinkley and all of them. I'm like, babies, what are you doing? It's 2022, it's okay. You can stay in the closet, you can just kick the closet and bust the hell out. No one's gonna judge, but Congratulations to Tantla. You know, we happy. One of the many people to recently bust out into the music scene, and out of which I had been very excited for this project, it would be Uncle Vinny's project, Youth League, whatever. He's recently released his EP. I think it was on the 7th, if I'm not mistaken, and whatnot. But you know, I was rooting for this boy. I'm like, you know what, I, I like the music. Uh, the single, No Mayini and whatnot. I was very disappointed because, you know, the music video came out and then it, like it features two other people that, I don't know, I don't, I don't even think we care about them. But if you watch the music video, like the half part of the song, it's just a standard S beat and then in the middle and then they come on do like 15 seconds each and whatnot. I'm like, this is a mess. I was rooting for this boy, but the album, the EP rather is flopping and the single is not singling. It's just so bad. And I would want you guys to go support this poor boy, Shane. You know, he's already been through so much, losing Ricky Rick and whatnot. But then I also remember that uh, I had spoken to Nota prior to the 
thing getting released. I'm like, you know what? Get that boy to come tell that thing. Let us talk. We're going to support him. We're going to, you know, we're going to listen to his shit, you know? And then Not was like, oh no, this boy is going to do well because all the fucking people are going to like, you know, endorse him or whatever. Co-sign. That's, that's the right way. They're going to co-sign him. He's going to do well. And now the, uh, the EP is out and I'm like, where the hell is this people? Why is this shit flopping? Because the single is out and it's doing so bad. The last time I checked, uh, a week in, it, there's gained like 2,000 views. I'm like, okay, this is bad. It's real, real bad. Y'all go support this poor boy, Shane. We like Vini. One of the many things that you guys are, uh, as we head into the new year, what you would wanna look forward to is the Kings of Joburg that is uh, premiering on Netflix on the 27th of January. I don't particularly care about this. I just want it canceled, like all the way out, but you know, uh, that Connie bitch is gonna be replacing her husband, a dead husband on the thing, and uh, Tembisiete is there as well, and that Zol Zolisa Tontoni, then man Jason, rather, if you're old as I am, Jason from the Generations, they're gonna be there doing whatever, but I don't care about this show, but you guys love it, so hence it's back for season two. Blood and water, this Kings of Joburg nonsense, it needs to get canceled. And they must bring back my friend's show, Queen Sono. I will always moan Queen Sono because I felt like it had always been better than any other nonsense that we've been getting on the Netflix and the Brave Ones is also not so bad, but I didn't give a shit about it with that fucking magic that's not magicking. I was like, what the fuck is happening? But on the 27th of January, you'll look out for the Kings of Joburg. For now, I'm gonna head out and then, yeah, we'll talk soon. Let me get me a drink.